In this video, I will introduce the basic concepts of a retrospective cohort study. As a reminder, in a cohort study, a cohort of exposed and unexposed participants is sampled, then followed over time to assess the incidence of a disease outcome. In a prospective cohort, this process happens in real time. We find people who are exposed and unexposed, then follow them over time to see if they develop the outcome. With the retrospective cohort study, everything is the same except we're using historical cohort data. Consider this figure of time with the present at the far right and the past going back to the left. In a retrospective cohort study, we use historical data to assemble a cohort based on their exposure status at some point in the past. For example, we might use medical, rec medical records or a company's employment history from several years prior and record whether the individuals have been exposed to a particular risk factor. Then we can use medical records or interviews or some other source of data to measure whether these people had developed the outcome of interest over time. This is in contrast to a prospective cohort in which exposure status is measured in the present time and people are followed in real time to see if they develop the outcome. 